Hello everyone, I'm Coffee Addict Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as Costa Caffeinata, which Costa only has apparently one A in it. Anyways, uh, let's introduce a few more comments, such as, I forgot to do this in the last video, but now we're called Ghoul Coffee Roasters. Of course we have Plantation Security, but Motorized Roasters as well. Another thing, uh, to address yesterday's comments, apparently the capital is called Oaxaca. Oaxaca? Oaxaca. Or, sometimes I like to call it Southern Mexico. Really Southern Mexico. Uh, right now, we could raise our autonomy and basically become free. However, I do want to see if what this focus will do, the negotiating table, because we get the Treaty of Oaxaca. -ca. Cool. So, we've been, you know, we've been a puppet for three years. It's 2278, so we might as well wait and see what happens. Also, they have 52 divisions down in my lands here, because they're at war with Tierra de los Tzotzil. So, we'll see what happens. And the Fall of New Reno. Hopefully that, they burn that place to the ground. It's a weird world. Oh, now they they weren't at war earlier? It's a weird world when the NCR doesn't exist, but then... Can I go to war, maybe? Uh, actually, would that do anything good for us? Like, Poe fight for freedom. We get more speed, attack, defense, and daily autonomy gain. Well, I guess not really. It really wouldn't help out too much. Unless they call me into the war, perhaps. I like that we have a little sun here. That's kind of cool. That's a Tlatoani of a foreign power. That's kind of cool. Join wars. I don't feel like it. <laughs> like, can I join war? I don't really feel like it, man. I really don't. Infantry equipment. Great. Honduran trade profits. We have five monies. Five caps. Uh, that's not really enough for me. If they call me to the war, I don't... Okay. You know what? As long as this helps kill off your your divisions, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, hmm. See what happens. I don't have any planes or... Sh oh, I can use my ships. Actually, I was looking, taking a look at Nueve's ships count. They have five. We... And they only have uh, screens. Three destroyers, two light cruisers, and we have 12 in total. Eight light cruisers and four destroyers. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Steel Rangers joined the Brotherhood of Steel. Everyone saw that probably coming. Since NCR died, internal investments are gone. Focus on the internal sphere. Oh, wow, we need a lot more stability. Holy cow. Oh, we're at war. That's right. We're at war. That's right. And I'm like, wow, what did I do? There goes the Apostles. Very cool. Oh! Oh, oh, do I do that? Oh, hold on, hold the phone. No, I could get more dynamite because of the way they, they get, send me stuff, but that will lower our autonomy. I'm going to do it. I'll spend 100 political power to, now so I get even more uh, autonomy so that we can mitigate the dynamite effect. The dynamite effect. That's kind of interesting to say. The dynamite effect. How many resources do we not have? Extraction could be okay with that. Like I said, I do want bombers, but... Or blimps. Maybe we'll get blimps. Yeah, that's what I want. I wanted blimps. That's right. I did want blimps. Let's go do lightweight metals. That'd be fine. We have five research slots. And we almost have enough political power again just to raise our cons raise our conscription. No. Raise our autonomy levels. Uh, oh, God dang it. Oh, I have to be at peace? I didn't realize I had to be at peace. There's not really much I can do since so it's still wanted to go to war anyways. They seem to be winning. How strong are their divisions again? About six uh, battalions... 15 battalions for special forces? Or there's four of them. So it's about five in each, so it's about 10 combat width. Yeah, we're going to definitely have to play the defensive game here. Definitely, most definitely. Crop rotation, cool. Uh, yeah, more irrigation stuff. Am I getting... I'm getting an adequate amount of army XP, which is okay. Not not a lot. I do want coast of guards. Just regular ghouls being coast guards. Because we're going to need those guys. Even though I'm not really too worried about it right now. And I don't want to hurt my deficit or hurt my production of infantry equipment too much. But I think we'll be okay since our navy could probably make sure that we don't have any invaders. And these guys are still holding up pretty darn well. I mean, I guess I could use my navy instead of you guys doing that. You could probably do some convoy raiding right here. Yeah, that's fine. Just do that, maybe. Y'all don't have to repair. You can split off. I don't think we're going to encounter too much Ah, profits from drug trades. Great. So, in the negotiation table, the Treaty of 
Oaxaca Ka. Once again, the time has come for us to renegotiate the, our position under the authority of the Atlan Empire. While originally these deals were struck out of desperation and a need for protection, the current weakness of the Atlan has let us extract more and more concessions from our overlords. It is a barren hope that this meeting will be the last, and that Costa can once can once operate without the oversight of any emperor other than himself. Uh, treaty of that. Let's ring them out for all they're worth. We can afford to be fair in our dealings. Um, you know, we don't want to piss them off too much. Probably. Yeah, it's always good to be on good terms, even if you don't like people. It's generally a good idea to be, a good idea to be on good terms with them. Let's, let's take a quick look first, though. So, right now, we can do bad business. We're subject. We can raise our autonomy regardless, so it doesn't even matter. Um, I don't like bad business. That doesn't sound good. And where it hits in the... Where, hit and where it hurts gives Nueva Atzalan less consumer goods. Or gives them, basically, they, they have less to use. And minus 25% construction speed for 200 days. Or economic embargo for Chichen Itza, where they get hit by 10% consumer goods factories. And minus 10% construction speed for 200 days. You know what? Here's what I'm thinking. Can we manipulate Nueva Atzalan to work with us to kill off Chichen Itza so we can get a lot of their territory and then eventually smack down at Nueva Atzalan? Now, that's an idea that might be worth pursuing. Let's try that. Let's, let's try to be fair. Okay, let's try to be fair. Hmm. Guerrero's contacts. We get a couple more units. That's kind of okay. I'm thinking of a Mexican monopoly, maybe. Second breadbasket of Mexico. I mean, this stuff is great. Purification station stuff. But it's defi definitely can wait. Hmm. More monthly population. Oh, monthly population goes down? Eh, Mexican Monopoly. So, while the great powers of Mexico continue to squabble and murder each other over foolish ideals such as honor and freedom, we can spend our time far more profitably by selling them all coffee while they can do it. Yes, yes, yes. And we'll raise our autonomy once this war's over, because this is... Eh, this is going to take a little bit of time. Not too much time, though. Not too much time. And they agreed to our freedom. Having demonstrated our geniality and loyalty, the Atzalan have agreed to abandon the Treaty of Oaxaca in return for a mutual defense back between us and the continued non-compete clause with the Itza Raiders. That seems reasonable. Okay, I don't even have to spend my political power to raise my autonomy. And I guarantee them. They fall for the act. Let's leave them to their demise. We refuse an alliance. You know, we gotta be thinking long-term. That's what a lot of people don't think about sometimes, is... They don't think long term. We're going to kill off Chichen Itza and make Nueva Atlan pay for it. That seems reasonable. That is reasonable. Uh, very good. Now you're not going to get any supply in there. Now we're at war with them. Uh, yes. We're going to make Ch the Nueva Atlan pay for it. So you guys can come over here. Uh, oh, we want to do that first. Can we? Oh, no. I was looking at the wrong guy probably. Yep. Oh, I can't. Draw front lines here. Can I draw front lines? Well, maybe once the game's unpaused. Emilio, how are you doing? Yeah, actually, that was surprisingly really good. Holy crap. I mean, I didn't have to spend any of this. You know what? We could begin. Oh, I don't want to lose caps, though. I don't really want to lose caps. Expel the Rift Raft. Yeah, that's not really worth it too much. Last weekly war support. Nah. Alright, so what do I do with my political power now? I guess I could raise my conscription. I guess. Outpost construction speed, more war support. Wow, why does that cost so much? Holy cow. And actually, this is more attack and defense, which is really pretty good, actually. Uh, cultural advisors, we might as well do that. Just grab me Rallier of the People. Sounds pretty good. And... No undesirables. Chief of the Navy, El Capitan. Hmm, army XP gain. Recovery rate, reinforce rate. That sounds pretty good. Let's save a little bit more for later. I'll take these guys out. Can we put you right here? You're called into this unfortunate blimey war. Blimey. Why did I say blimey? Uh, let's see, negotiations. Negotiating is. can be okay. Oh, but I probably don't get any more dynamite from them. Hmm. Draw war and Kimmel Station. Ooh, doggos. Very good. Oh, good job. Okay, so I'm going to take everything. No, not really. No, that wouldn't be very fair. Uh, really? I don't think... 
our allies should really get anything. They really didn't do much. I'll give them one piece of territory. They can have Las Montanas de Refuge. I don't know, whatever that is. Yeah. You guys can have that. Or I need more force core. <clears throat> oh, this is going to take forever. I'll, I'll probably just make it a little bit easier. That's going to look very disgusting. There you go. You know what? I'm just going to do... Let's see. Actually, would it be easier... Oh, you can just take this by itself. Almost. Almost by itself. And, of course, Chichen you know, did most of the work here, so I'm going to give most of it to Chichen, so that only makes sense. 550. You know what? Just end the peace deal, and I'll just use the transfer tool. That just makes it easier. There you go. Much easier. Cool. You guys don't go there. Go home. Go home uh, to here. Not bad. Makes it easy. Alright, so now we got to focus on this enemy up here, which is, you know, it is what it is. You guys going down there? Nope. You guys are right there. You guys are right there. That'd be good. And now we got to make another little army right here. Radio. Very good. Very good. Research speed. And get more decryption. That'd be nice. Inert. Oh, they canceled the Lendlease. Come on, man. Inert. Lifting gas. We're at peace. So, let's keep trading. That's awesome. We got that. Very good. We'll get some combat blimps soon enough. And my people... My, my people, you guys have spoken, and there's overwhelming support for me to get common weaponries. Or warrior equipment. Ballistics. That's what I mean. Ballistics. That B word. So we're going to go with ballistics, my friends. Ballistics. Oh, and we still... That's actually pretty good to have for right now. Even though I don't really need any more autonomy. Hey, but actually, do we have our own... Re oh, we still have a lack of resources. Makes sense. Irrigation. Uh, Anti-armor. That can wait. Grab some more of that first. Let's see, engineering, uh, land doctrine. Yeah, let's keep doing land doctrine. Less supplies is always good to have. Always, always, always good. All right, so we got coffee roasters. We got the explodey boys. I need the doggos, but I need to make doggos because I don't have enough factories for doggos. How much? We have no infantry equipment, so I can't take that off. I need this. We're making motorcycles because I want motorcycles too. I want a lot of things. To be honest, I do want a lot. I do want a lot of things. Alright, get a new guy. Rumolu Karanza. More attack? More experience gain? I like it. Romulo. Trading success? Great. Idiot Savant. I think 5% attack is usually pretty good. Nerd Rage. Infantry attack defense. Sure, why not? I'll do gun up. Just let me trade more and more and more. I love trading. Make me a profit. 3.35, lightweight metals, great. Let's get some blimps, some of these big boys. I never use these guys until now. Of course, we got plenty of political power. Frequency analysis. Now, I don't exactly remember when, but these guys need to kill each other off more, and then they'll fight each other. I forget exactly when they're going to kill each other, because when they go to war with each other, and if I get called in, you know, whatever. That's fine with me. We'll take an appropriate amount of stuff. Ah, Mexican Monopoly, great. Art of the Deal. That sounds fun. The Art of the Deal. As always, Baron Garcia has proven to be a brilliant negotiator, running circles around the outmatched Atzalan delegation. Costa is free in every sense of the word, and without a single drop of bloodshed. Let's have a freshly brewed toast to such a great accomplishment. Well, I would toast, but I already drank all my coffee. <sighs> Time to get more. Cool. Oh, oh, yeah, look at that. Genta del Sol, Tohono, the Baja Bandits. Yeah, please. Yeah. And it's also probably a good idea for us to just stockpile a bunch of political power, too. Just so we can use it for the future. Oh, we're making dogs. We have, we're making dogs. Yes, 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 yes. Because I'm making a few military factories here, which is kind of nice. Probably alphabetic ciphers. Very cool. Air doctrine. Or this is just air stuff. Specialized doctrine. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Why not? Since we have our ships, we're getting a little bit of XP as well. Which reminds me, guys. Go ahead and train. Very good, very good. Let time go on. Ah, Honduras. Good. Coffee barons. White legs and New Canaan sign a white piece. A new a power merges in Utah. New Canaan is in flames. Pretty darn flippin' normal. Oh, we're gonna have so many dogs. I can't wait. Of course, I do want more motorcycles, but we're gonna have to wait quite a while for that. Uh, I could go to war with Honduras, but that wouldn't be very fruitful. They have like, at least 14 divisions down there, which is quite a few, not gonna lie. Oh, we have to meet demands. Two... 
God dang it. Well, how many? Oh, it's minus eight percent, or eight percent. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I'll take the hit. It's probably not worth it. Cool. Oh, it's ten percent. June thirteenth. Well, actually, we might be able to hit this day as well. Maybe. Cool, my bad. My cat wanted out of my room. Binky, send you our plantation owner. Binky has left the room. Ten days, ten days. We have to. Oh, we're oh my goodness, we're probably not going to make it. We have to be very careful about this. Nine. Trade mission success. Good. Oh no, we can still make it probably. Maybe. Thirteenth. Two. Did it work? It, we we made it work. Nice. We need two free civilian factories. Now we need 13. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, level 10. Very nice. Level 1, which is not really ideal. I'll, I'll do like level... Build up two levels there. And then build some more military factories here-ish. That'd be nice. Now free military factories. What do we... We need more flamers. That'd be a good idea. So much political power, internal investments. Good, 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 good. Ah, uh, we'll probably take the hit next time. Probably. You guys. Oh, I pulled you guys off. Whoops. Yeah, you guys definitely go down there. That's important. All right, so, fellas, can you guys kill each other off? The legislator. I really don't remember the paths that these that Chichen Itza and Nueva Atzlan can take. To be honest with you, I really don't remember. Any of you partisans, because they're buried in paperwork. The Lost Cities. Ooh, then go to War of the Vice Royalty. That's kind of cool. Anything here? Gonna get paid? No, not really. Can these guys go to war? Because I remember, I I have played as Truchin Itza, not as Halak or Carlos Franco there. Ooh, we get out of the deal. But I don't exactly remember what goes on. Goods for Garros, that's okay. What do we need to do this? At least seven trade power, which I don't really know what that means yet. But we're gonna go with Garros Contracts. So the Garros of Honduras are hardened by years of jungle warfare on their southern border, and even better, they have no love for Itza. These two traits more than make up for any asking price for their services. We get technology, which we've already done, and disable Luis's Garros template and training, or disable editing, and get three more divisions. We can use it, guys, those guys as coast guards. The art of the deal. With the business of our independence so generously concluded, it's only fair that we help the Atzlan with their upstart raider problem. It says, pissed off o -meter. Cool. Riverboat Diplomacy. So this give them a little bit more buffs? They get Contact Dotzil Partisans. Embargo Itza. Oh wait, does that... Oh, that hurts Chichen Itza. Good. This pisses them off a lot. Yeah. Except it's in refugees. Yes, we love the refugees as long as you work for us on our plantations. Yes. Give us cheap products. Or work for us. Oh, we're actually pretty good on infantry equipment. I don't have to buy anymore. Uh, free states remnants. Very good. We got a couple more division. Oh, Coast Guards are here. Coast Guards. And I know what I want to... It, it's taken me a while to actually go to war uh, with anyone. Right, but technically, we did already go to war. Technically. And we can grab... Oh, one. Uh, you actually, I made you because I have like a strong, strong back. Uh, your agile, whatever, just, you can do that. You're a good guy. There you go. There you go. Three guys we're gonna need, that's okay. Let time go on. Can we invest any more? We have 87% uh, stability, which is very nice. Consumer goods, we've got plenty of political power, so I'm gonna use Brute. Well, that's not too bad. Less war support for more attack and army XP gain. Uh, I'll probably just go with Brew, because he could be, always be called back eventually. And army XP won't matter too much in the long term. I don't want to lose any war support either, so. That'll be good. That'll be very good. Next up, we could probably get better soldiers. 300 political power. Is that really worth it? it might be more worth it just, oh, maybe to wait to get this. We get 2% more stuff, a little more war support, more attack, defense, on the divisions. That seems pretty good. 
More resource extraction, sure. Alright. Very better. La Plantacion. Very nice, very nice. River Fleet, great. We must keep doing this for now, just because I don't doubt the AI really does it too much. Embargo Itza, yes. Everyone will hate them. Yes, hate them. Gonna wanna do more trade stuff, please. Please. Disrupt river, river traffic. I should probably do riverboat diplomacy. Oh, they have to be taken out for that. Oh, that's whatever. No, that's whatever. Anything else? Cool. Let them go on. Embargo Itza. Goods for Geros. Let's do riverboat diplomacy if we can next. Oh, wait. We can embargo them still. Nice. Really make everyone pissed off at them. Increase military infrastructure. How strong are they? So they've got a big old navy. A lot of battlecruisers. Good amount of manpower. Uh, a lot of divisions. Lots and lots of divisions. So they'll be pretty tough to take out. Humble servants. Oh boy. Please don't let Honduras join them. Please. We're the allies. Demand subservience. If they go to war with them, that'll be interesting. Coffee roasters. Very good. Gero's Contacts. Very nice. Let's grab... Merchant Marine. Oh, we go all the way down here. Holy cow, that takes forever. Cartel Enforcers. Business with the cartels. Huh. Hmm. Muta Latte. Seven trade power points. Goods for Gero's. That kind of hurts us, but we do get more weekly manpower, so that's not bad. Not everyone wants to die in the jungle. But you know what? Let's not do that one. I do. I did say I want to get down to riverboat diplomacy, so let's start with Merchant Marine, actually. Due to our interest in coastal trading, we are one of the few nations in Mexico that maintain any sizable naval presence. However, currently most of our vessels are shipping barges. If we are to exploit naval dominance of the west coast, we need to transform our merchant navy into a proper fleet. Get more convoys and two more dockyard slots. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Oh. Oh, hello. You are a ghoul division. I'm going to continue throwing you guys right here, probably. And then we got three more guys. Geros Mercenaries. They're eight combat width. They have logistic companies and demo support. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I'll just throw you, like, right here or something. I don't know. Something like that. Actually, you know... Yeah, that'll be fine. You know, whatever. I do want to make these guys a little... Oh, Lucis is Geros. Lucis is Geros, too. Oh, can I not edit their... I can't edit their divisions. Oh, no. Wasteland Survivalism, very good. Less supply use, except for militias. Which doesn't matter, since you'll only be really using them for garrisons. Uh, contact with Sotil Partisans, very good. Let them lose even more political power. And we still get almost roughly two a day, so that's pretty good. Wait, what can we do to Atzalan? Oh, we need two off-map factories available to begin this trade mission. That makes sense. Oh, good, combat blimps. Good, hopefully we can use this eventually. More range. I think we'll probably have enough range on those guys. Salvage cars? Sure. Let's go with that next. Merchant Marine. Complicated circuitry. Uh, don't do that yet. Let's get some more resource efficiency gain. Keep an eye on this. Meeting investors' demands. How many factories we got? Eight. Four military workshops. That's fine. Chief of Navy. El eh, I'm also do El Capitan. That'd be fine. Make sure we're strong. Good, 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 good. And embargo them. Uh, get, uh, oh, economic refugees is done. That sucks. Oh, we need more off-map factories. We need a lot of off-map factories. Oof. Internal investments, come on. Ripe rolls. Chichen Itza declared war on Honduras. Oh, boy. Huh. How strong are these guys? They're not that strong. Oh, they got a lot of manpower, though. Holy cow, that's a lot of manpower. Accept refugees. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Accept the refugees. Displaced by war. We're going to embargo them some more. So everyone really hates them. Come on, let time go on. I want to I want to get a little bit of action. Actually, can I send you volunteers? I can send volunteers, maybe. Let's see if we can send two divisions. 
Let's see. Pull you and then pull you. Under. Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian. Why? Why do you have to be like camera light and stuff? Life giver. Experience soldier's loss. Strong back. I do root it again. Negotiate licenses, huh? Send air volunteers that I do not have. Okay. That's like, I honestly kind of figured that that would happen. Coastal patrols. All right. Well, they're holding them off for now, which is actually pretty good. I might... Eh, I do want to see how well they can do. And I want at least three more divisions before we do anything else. Just so that we can defend this little piece of territory if Atsalan loses it. Atsalan, good. Good, good, good. Do as many times as we possibly can, because we can. Pissed off Ometer, zero. They're not really pissed off. That kind of sucks. Where do you get trade points? I'm not really sure we get trade points. Ooh, embargo them. Merchant Marine, that's nice. That's always nice to have. Goods for Geros. I really want that. Coffee barges. This is okay. Let's just do this. We get more weekly manpower. Not everyone wants to die in a jungle. In fact, most people don't. The role of a Costa Cafenata security personnel officer in comparison is a retirement plan for Aguero. And we can use this, this manpower in flux to our advantage. Yes. Always think about your retirement. Always. Genta profits. Excellent trade profits. Very good. I think three divisions should be enough here, especially over the river. Especially these guys are 20 combat width. It's not bad. Go ahead and train until you're really good. You guys train until you're really good. Oh, uh, Pedro, you got anything for us? Eh, you'll be alright. You guys should be pretty good as well. And there you go. Anything I need to know? Nope. Anything that we need to know? Nope. How is our... Oh, we got quite a few dogs, actually. That's kind of nice. Uh, drug thieves. Let's make sure we throw on some dogs here for when we need garrisons. Trade success, great. That actually gives us more pier less piercing. Okay, that makes sense. Less piercing. Do that. That'll be fine for when we need garrisons. And we'll, the next group we'll put dogs on are our co coffee roasters. The Baja, Tohono, Embargo. It's, uh, they're still not pissed off, which is, a uh, resource production. Great. We need power stations, eventually. Infantry stuff. So, it's not that ahead of time. Let them go on. Work camps, great. Uh, actually, don't do that. That's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Support stuff. Flamers. 5% soft attack or 3% soft attack, heart attack, and piercing. I'm going to go with that. Trade mission report. Every sale is a win. Every sale is a win. So, it's still partisans. Yeah, they're really not pissed off whatsoever. How, what are the casualties like for this war between these guys? Alright, not bad. Ah, they're pretty evil. Pretty evil? Pretty equal, I should say. Good, do that. So they have a lot of divisions versus... They're not doing that well. Oh, ho hold on. Okay, never mind. They're actually doing well now. That's not good. Uh, okay, time to panic. Oh, now we finally get the followers of the apocalypse. Holy cow. Ah, uh, just let them come. God dang it. You pieces of garbage. And I guess if you really want to escort them, whatever. Anything else? Embargo them. So that's not good. These guys are dying. They do take San Pedro, but now they got to get over here across the river again. That's good. They couldn't get over here. They probably navally invaded. That's what they probably did. Successful financial year. Goods for Geros, which might not finish because these guys might get taken out. Trade mission report. Every sale is a win. Trading success. Good. Please, guys. Please kill each other. Ignorance is strength. Prepare for the worst. So, these guys are going down where? Oh. The third tenant. That's decryption. Please, kill each other off. Please. Please, please, please. Embargo them. That's fine. Uh, what's your... What's, what are these guys' opinions? Petro, or at least Santa Ana of Chichen Itza. Well, that doesn't do anything for me. Intel diplomacy. I can't... How do I double check? Uh, it seems like it should be up there. I don't know. As long as we click it on it, and it'll make us feel better, and that's what matters, right? Oh yeah, these guys are dying down here. 
Just take as many as you can with, with you guys. Just take as many as you possibly can. <sighs> Cartel enforcers. We get more divisions that way. Well, let's do coffee barge. So, our barges currently make up the bulk of our seaworthy vessels. While cumbersome, with enough refitting, of course, they could be repurposed into becoming a strong naval backbone for our fleet. Yes. Hue Hue Tanango. I do speak no Spanish. Let's see. Cool. Uh, and, uh, I guess we could do that. Honestly, probably doesn't even matter that much anymore anyways. Uh, we said cars. We could do that down there. I'm probably not going to go for APCs in this campaign. Support equipment. Better doggos. Sure. Blimps. Put those bad boys on there. Economic refugees is done. And that's okay with us. Trade profits are done. How is our construction of stuff going on? We're still making more military factories, which is good. We have quite a few dogs, so I feel okay doing this. So if we do that, we'll have minus 53 in storage, which is... Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Nice. Another dude. Right, let me do that. New Victoria declare War Broken Coast. That's okay. Come down here, because we're going to need you down here. Be led by Sebastian. I know he's not great, but he is who he is. Do that. Good. Uh, more refugees. 115%. 18 guys a day. Contact partisans. Good. They're still not pissed off, which is really disappointing. Good. Oh man, that war is not looking good whatsoever. A thousand versus oh well, at least it's a thousand versus a thousand. They killed off an equal amount, which is, isn't bad. Not great, of course. Incinerators, sure. Internal investments, very good. Followers establish themselves. Whatever mercenary con mercenary conscription. Get a civilian draft going. That'd be fine for us. Embargo. I'll do it this last time. We're done after this. So, we'll get some partisans as well for Chichen Itza soon enough, once these guys capitulate. And hopefully that'll piss them off more. Hopefully. Oh, oh yeah, we can ask them for this. Cheap, pretty darn cheap way, a slow but cheap way to get more civilian workshops, which is kind of good. Uh, medical tech company, sure, that's only 10. It's not bad. And we got plenty of political power. You know what? We got plenty of enough political power. I'm going to just do that. Make more water for us. Who cares? Just let it, just let them do it. And let's do that. Legendary Wastelanders? Sure. Sounds like a good idea. Cool. We need current off-map factories. Minus two. I already said I, I'm done with this. I'll probably do this again once we can do all this stuff, but obviously not yet. Alright, next. Following up is... Oh, extending our range. So, river expeditions and coastal hopping may have been sufficient before, uh, but to be able to reach new customers with our product, we need to equip our ships with resources and materials for long-distance expeditions. So we get more naval speed and naval max range factor by plus 50%. That's a lot. That's actually quite a bit, which is fine with us. Are we getting more stability? Oh, we got the followers' influence. That's why. Good. Uh, dam busters, warrior equipment, common weaponry. That's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Sure, we'll do that. Yeah, we definitely need to lower the amount of goods that we're... The amount of resources that we send out to other people and stuff like that. What's going on here? The Marlurks... Oh, the Marlurks. Apostles, Marlurks, Diamond Peak. Alright, so the wasteland still looks pretty... Fairly normal. Fairly normal. For what it is. Cool. Internal investments. Cool. You guys are... Okay, coming back and not killing yourselves off of there. That's fine. You guys have not capitulated yet, which is kind of surprising. Oh, the capital's all the way down here. That's terrible. That's so bad. Some more aid. Troll war and declare war on the apostles. North Cooper taken in a raid. Uh, we need two off-site factories and stuff like that. Doggos, yes. Get better, 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 better doggos. Hmm. How do I fix this? 
Marlow Tribes was annexed. All right, Troll weren't looking pretty strong, but that's okay. We don't really care in this campaign. Country equipment. Yeah, there's really not much I can do here. We have enough doggos for everyone, which is great. We're still training a little bit more, even though we should probably finish that off. Good. General investment is done. You guys do that as well. Be under someone else, I suppose. That'd be fine. Oh, so it's old partisans. Yes. Still not pissed off. And we're just kind of waiting for Andres to die. That's kind of the thing here. And waiting for these guys to kill each other off. If they don't kill each other off by the next episode, I'm talking about like Chichen Itza Nueva Atalan, I will make sure that they kill each other off. Or I'll just go to war with Chichen Itza, probably. Probably. Higher profile. Very cool, very cool. Do that. Good, good, good. Followers still doing stuff. It's fine with us. Minus one. Hmm. Economic refugees. Okay, incinerators. Very nice. I uh, might as well do that. Why not? Blimps. Are we making any blimps yet? We are making a few blimps. Cool. After that, go ahead and start... Oh, we're out of places to build factories after we're done with this. I might lower that by two. I might want more civilian workshops here extending our range. Very nice, very nice. Riverboat diplomacy. The rivers are the veins of Mexico. Deploying our skiffs and mass to patrol our local riverways allows us to protect a large amount of influence in our neighbor's affairs. Or, uh, you know, let's do that, and then we'll do economic embargo. That sounds like a very good idea. Internal investments. Might as well. All right, might as well. Alright, very good, very good, very good. I, this is what happens when you don't let me... Ooh, refugees. Let me uh, send you volunteers, guys. Can I send you volunteers now? Nope, they still won't, so... Just about war goals. So how much strength or knowledge do we have on these guys? 16 to 18,000 manpower. Uh, they have up to 137 divisions. Quite a few guys, quite a few guys. I want another blimp. Oh, but that hurts us. Salvage cars... I suppose we could do that. Yeah. Go ahead and stop doing that. Go ahead and build another thing there. Uh, actually, build it right there. That'd be better. Aggressive maneuvers. Very cool, very cool. Naval retreat speed. Suicide runs. Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Embargo. They're still not pissed off, so we need to do the other focus for that. And there goes Honduras. Contact Honduran partisans. More damage to garrisons, please. Thank you. If we do this all at the same time, will that piss them off even more? Let's hope it does. Let's really hope it does. We get 1.72 a day. Chichen Itza. What are you doing? Changing rolls around. Alright, so at what point can you guys kill each other off? Deal with the Atzlan. Final Frontier. Destruction Diplomacy. Question of the Atzlan. Investing in Sotzil. They need to invest in Sotzil. The Apostles. Unsuccessful financial year. Investing in so it's where is it? oh they do investing, but they can't do that since they took them out. Oh, opt for diplomacy. Opt for, oh my goodness. Oh, they kind of they can't even do this now for some reason, huh? Since oh I gave them this tile. Oh, that might have really messed things up there. Huh? Can't meet investors' demands. I don't really care though. I really don't. Okay, so what are you guys up to then? You guys, I know, can go to war with those guys. Aid is clear war gravitators, and I will play as 80 someday. Don't worry, I will play as him someday. So, memories of an empire. Free fighters, refugees, fate of an empire. Reclaimed homeland. Gain core. There, it's right there. Ah, you know what? I'm going to end the episode here because tomorrow I'm going to try to make these guys go to war with each other, and if not, I'll just mainly go to war with Chichen Itza and attempt to defend until, unless we die. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we will eventually, hopefully, get into some sort of major conflict. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.